So this is a good little number you got going here. Yeah. How does it, it doesn't, feel? It doesn't leave much to the imagination. I mean, <laughs> even, uh, you know, it's tight around the uh, edges. Got to get back working out. Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Yeah, I've, I've done it once for, uh, for a golf swing, but um, you know, I'm not too educated on it, so I'm you know, kind of listening and seeing, uh, seeing how it all goes. All right, well, we'll have to follow along and learn with you. Can you just sort of walk us through what we're going to experience today? Okay, sure. We're going to take Rick Nash and motion capture him. And what that means is we'll put these uh, reflective markers on his body. He's going to get into a tight bodysuit, and uh, by putting these on his joints, like his elbow, his wrist, his hand, we'll be able to track his motion and put it into the game. Almost forgot. Make it official. Okay, looks good. We've got a lot of things that we're trying to accomplish today. One of the big things is to try to cover everything that might actually happen in our video game. It may not necessarily happen in real life, but little Billy's playing the game and he skates backwards and then takes a shot in the wrong direction. If he wants to do it, we're going to allow him to do it. What we call an A pose, and then up to a T pose, and then I'll just have you exercise all your joints. So you're going to move your arms okay. and move your elbows. We have 56 cameras. Uh, each one of the cameras has a red LED strobe around it that actually floods the area with red light. The red light hits the marker and the light comes back to the camera and gets filtered out. So the cameras actually don't see faces, they don't see fingers, they only see the reflected light from the marker. Actor ready? Ready. And action. All right, so I saw a bunch of guys working on these computers right mm -hmm. here. What were what is the primary job for those guys? I'm, obviously, there's probably several. But. Right, there's a couple of different things that go on. We have the capture station, which actually captures all of the data, and we have two other stations that will actually reconstruct the video data and turn it into the 3D dots that you see, mm -hmm. and the people running those machines will make sure that the data looks correct, that it was captured properly, and it's what the producers want. a little bit of a sweat out there, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to be the summer and they got me working. <laughs> you know, yeah. sweating on the ice, but it's uh, it's all good. Right. That was good. That was good. I saw you saying this might not be the real way I would do it. Was that important to you to be authentic to the moves that you actually do on the ice? Yeah, there's there's a couple ones that um, you know just didn't feel right, and I don't think uh, you know they're trying to make this game as realistic as possible, right. and uh, I think that's important. So you know everything uh, you know they wanted me to, I tried, but uh, you know tried to put a little touch on it, a little more realistic. Yeah. Show off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So you're living every little boy's dream right now. What does this mean to you to have this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, you know, a couple years back, I was the one going out playing these games and, uh, yeah. you know, playing them and, uh, you know, pretending I'm in them. And, uh, you know, now, now I'm on the cover. Now you're, play, like, now you're playing them, playing yourself. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm, now I'm making the players. It, it's definitely a dream come true. It, it's unbelievable to see all the stuff behind the scenes and all the uh, work that these guys put into it. You don't really understand it until you see it firsthand. It's not all about the production of the game. Today, Rick is really focusing on the marketing as well. He's doing TV and radio interviews, photo shoots, all to promote NHL 2K9. That's great. That's good. Nice. What does it mean to be the first Blue Jackets player on the cover of the game? Uh, putting, you know, Columbus person in, in the cover is, is pretty exciting. I think it's just going to open up the world to, uh, to find out who Columbus is. You know, it's kind of fun. A couple of goals I scored this year, kind of, you know, like video game uh, goals. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to input that in uh, NHL 2K9 and, um, you know, figure out if we can do that because I don't think I'll be able to do it on the ice again. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of The Hockey Show. I'm Heidi Andrel. I'm Rick Nash. And we'll see you next time. Score! Yes! <laughs>